Hey everyone, James with TFB TV, and I have a brand new gun to talk to you guys about. But before I get there, I want to save us all a bunch of time. And I want to ask, are you one of those people who believes that no one should pay more than $1,000 for an AR-15 or a pistol caliber carbine? Okay. If so, listen man, I don't want any trouble today, okay? Um, just go get a couple of Lucy Newport cigarettes and some Steel Reserve. Fire up the internet in your trailer, go watch some Hickok 45 videos and, and relax. Um, I don't want any trouble. You're totally right. You're totally right. No one should spend a grand on an AR-15 ever. Um, total waste of money. Have a good day. Okay, you guys think they're gone? Now I'm ready to talk to you guys about the CMMG Mark 10. And this thing's awesome. So I have the CMMG Banshee Mark 10. 10. One thing that you guys noticed right out of the gate is this one is in what looks like a vomit green. I personally selected this color. They call this bazooka green. I'm a big green gun guy. CMMG was not happy. They said, look, we'll send you one in any color you want for your review. Now, this isn't mine. I don't get to keep it. You guys know the drill around here of TFB TV. We don't accept free product or money in exchange for reviews. But they said, look, we'll send you whatever color you want for your review. I opted for the green. I think it looks pretty rad. This is a 10 millimeter pistol caliber carbine slash SMG slash SBR, whatever you want to do to it. And I think this is one of the coolest pistol caliber carbines that's come out in a long time. To the untrained eye, this looks like just a standard 10 millimeter AR-15. And as you guys probably gleaned from the introduction to this video, yes, it cost over $1,000. 1300 to $1,650 is the MSRP. However, you're getting a lot more than just quality and features with the CMMG Banshee. Now you guys may remember a couple of years ago, I did a review on the CMMG Banshee 9mm right when it came out and I was so impressed that I said it was one of the top five pistol caliber carbines that was out at the time. The 10 millimeter version is no different. You've got the exact same gun now, just in best millimeter, right? You're looking at top quality build, like it's nine millimeter little brother. It accepts Glock magazines, which is a huge plus, of course. An excellent M-lock handguard from CMMG. An ambidextrous safety, Magpul MOE grip. A brace with a quick detach sling attachment. A plate in front of the castle nut that's got two sling attachment points. A massive ambidextrous CMMG charging handle. And an awesome and effective four port brake. Another thing to think about, you guys are talking about a very nice house rolled receiver here. This isn't just some bullshit forged AR-15 or cast AR-15 lower. This is a custom made lower with a beveled and flared magazine well for 10 millimeter Glock magazines. It isn't like a 223 mag well that has a block in it or anything. This is actually made for this gun specifically. You've got a single piece trigger guard, which is really nice. It just looks good. Even in green, bazooka green, I think it looks kind of sexy. You know what I'm saying? So that's all well and good, but still we're talking about a pistol caliber AR-15 that just has some upgrades, right? How is this thing worth over $1,000? Well, there's one feature that I haven't mentioned yet, although I went over it ad nauseum in the CMMG Banshee 9 video, and that is that this Banshee Mark 10 also uses a radial delayed blowback system. I know at SHOT Show 2019, I saw a ton of 10 millimeter AR-15 platforms that are on the horizon. I don't know if any of them are out yet, but the difference between the Banshee Mark 10 and say a lower cost competitor more likely than not, that lower cost gun is just using a straight blowback. That is, that gun's gonna be relying on a heavier bolt in order to delay the cycling of the action to let chamber pressures drop to a safe level while the round goes out the end of the barrel. Straight blowback guns, if they're not done correctly, can be unreliable. Almost always, they're going to have more recoil because you're gonna have a big heavy bolt sloshing around in there. It's really uncomfortable. It'll jostle you a little bit whenever you're shooting. That's not the case with the CMMG Banshee. Because of the radial delayed blowback system, it doesn't need to rely on a super chunky, super heavy bolt. In fact, this bolt and bolt carrier group set look almost identical to a standard AR-15 bolt and bolt carrier set. So how does the CMMG do this? 
Well, that radial delayed blowback system, what that is, is the bolt lugs. At the back, they've got these little angled cuts. Those angled cuts require the bolt face to turn about 22 degrees in order to unlock the bolt face during the firing sequence. CMMG's innovative and patent pending radial delayed blowback operating system, which allows reliable operation without a heavy bolt, buffer, or spring. The mechanical delay allows pressure to fall in the chamber before it unlocks. In that respect, it actually works a lot like an H&K MP5. The H&K MP5 uses a different blowback system. That's the roller locking system that allows the bolt face to remain locked in place until chamber pressures have dropped to a safe level and then the gun unlocks and cycles. So this is a lot more sophisticated than your standard blowback AR-15 pistol caliber carbine. It also translates into lower felt recoil, greater reliability, and because the bolt face is staying locked instead of with blowback where immediately you fire and immediately the bolt carrier, the bolt, starts moving backwards because the bolt face stays in place momentarily after the shot is fired. Allegedly, it sends more propellant, more gases down the barrel versus into the chamber or out of the ejection port or what have you. This theoretically should also make it a quieter suppressor host. This gun has an eight inch barrel, a 24 inch overall length. It only weighs five pounds and two ounces. Compare that to the nine millimeter H&K MP5 that uses again, a sophisticated delayed blowback system. That gun weighs six and a half to seven pounds depending upon the configuration. So this gun is a lot lighter but you're also shooting 10 millimeter versus nine millimeter. Let's talk about the magazines real quick. The CMMG Banshee Mark 10 uses SGM tactical 30 round 10 millimeter Glock magazines, Glock pattern magazines, if you will. CMMG says that the SGM tactical magazines have a much stronger magazine spring, which means that the CMMG last round bolt hold open, which is another feature that you find in almost no 10 millimeter pistol caliber carbines on an AR pattern, this magazine will trigger it reliably every time. Of course, as I mentioned, the CMMG Banshee Mark 10 will accept your 10 millimeter Glock magazines. However, CMMG suggests putting Wolf extra power springs into your Glock magazines if you wanna ensure that the last round bolt hold open works every single time. Another thing that's kind of neat about the magazines is you have the witness holes right here in the back, like with most Glock magazines. So it's cool because when you're actually firing it, all you have to do is just tilt it one way or another and you can keep a pretty good eye on your ammo level. Another interesting point about function, the CMMG Banshee Mark 10 comes with two buffers in the box. You have a carbine weight buffer and an H3 or a heavy three buffer. For those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about right now, you have a buffer back here in your buffer tube. That buffer gets pushed backwards by your bolt carrier group and the cycling of the gun. It's responsible for pushing that bolt carrier group back into battery. So why would you need multiple buffer weights? Well, if I fire weak ammo through this gun, if I'm firing uh, something that I made myself that's closely loaded to like 40 pressure instead of 10 millimeter, with an H3 buffer that this comes equipped with, it might not generate enough force to actually cycle the gun. So CMMG has provided you with a lighter weight buffer. And in fact, I guess if you want ultimate reliability, you would just put a carbine buffer in there, but you're going to get more felt recoil and more wear and tear on the gun. Does that make sense to everyone? It comes with the H3 buffer installed. They say this will work with almost all ammo types. That's what we used. We kept the H3 buffer in when we were shooting factory 10 millimeter ammunition. It cycled 100% whenever we fired it. And guys, as far as shooting impressions go, this is about as good as it gets. This thing was milder than New York jambalaya. Really easy to shoot, almost no recoil. This four port brake seemed to work very well with the H3 buffer in there and the radial delay blowback system. You feel almost no recoil. I mean, I was familiar with the platform, but it had been a couple of years since I shot it. They didn't let me keep the last one, unfortunately, even though I really wanted it. But when I shot the Banshee 9, I was like, wow, this thing really has reduced felt recoil. But once you put that into a larger caliber, like 10 millimeter, you really notice the difference versus nine millimeter, which is somewhat anemic, even out of a standard blowback. So Brandon LaBeouf and I were both extremely impressed and we were kind of like, wow, 
Maybe we shot it. That bitch has actually like no recall. Only put 100 rounds through it so far. I got this thing pretty close to the release date and I wanted to make sure to get this video out in time for you guys. So I haven't had a chance to beat the piss out of it yet. I want to though. Hopefully they'll let me buy this one unlike the last time because I would love to hold on to it. Controls are excellent. Of course, you've got the Ambi safety that works great. Standard AR safety, right? If you're familiar with the AR-15 manual of arms, you're gonna have no trouble with the Mark 10. I love, love the push button magazine release. That's what I said about the Banshee Mark 9. The Mark 10's no different. And ample, easy to use pad, got some great checkering on it. Very easy to drop your magazines without having to look at the button. It's right there, just naturally where your finger reaches. So in conclusion, guys, I think this is one of the best pistol caliber carbines out on the market today. I say that with some reservation because again, I haven't had the opportunity to really run this thing through the ringer, but I can't wait to do that. And I expect that it's gonna perform well. Again, the Mark 9, the Banshee Mark 9, I really beat that thing into the ground, shot it suppressed, unsuppressed ran hundreds of rounds through it, maybe up to a case through it, and it ran perfectly. I have no reason to believe that this is going to be any different. You've got all of the features of the Mark 9 in a very lightweight package, just a tick over five pounds, 30 rounds at 10 millimeter. Mm. But wait, there's more. You guys know I always try to find something negative to say about a gun, even if I absolutely love it, and this is no exception. So I guess what I would say is if I paid $1,300 to $1,650, I would want a little bit better. You hear that, guys? Holding it up to the mic. So this upper to lower fit isn't exactly super tight. It's normal. It's normal, but... You know, I've definitely seen some tighter fit in less expensive guns. And I wouldn't call this gun ammo picky, but CMMG says don't run Freedom Munitions ammo through it. They said it's not gonna work reliably, so, you know, I guess I gotta throw that out there. But other than that, I mean, those are the only complaints I have, and I think this thing's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see how it does in the future once I get a little bit higher round count through it. I'll continue to keep you guys updated as my journey with the CMMG Mark 10 Banshee continues. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video along with your Lucy menthol cigarettes and your steel reserve. I've gotta say thanks a ton to 511 for sponsoring this video and thanks to our usual sponsors, Ventura Munitions, who provided the ammo that we ran through this. And guys, you're not gonna have any reliability issues with Ventura Munitions ammo, I'm just saying. Also, Blue Alpha Gear, best tactical belts in the game. Be sure to check them out, guys. Check us out on Patreon and now Subscribe Star. So Patreon has taken a little bit of an anti-gun tilt. They're trying to tell gun channels what to do with their own content. So go check us out at subscribestar.com slash TFBTV. If you give at the five or the $10 level, you are automatically entered into a drawing to win right now two guns every month. Just last month, we gave away a Smith & Wesson Model 69 and 44 Magnum and a Sig P226 Navy. So we're giving away some pretty awesome guns. We're giving away two a month. Once we hit 1,500, we're probably gonna be giving away three a month if I can get authorization in the budget for it. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. I will see you all next week.